Hi, I'm Kara and I talk to wine. So today I'm going to ask you a very important question. To chill or not to chill your red wine. So now that is where we get a little bit more curious, right? So red wine. Typically, we're told you have to serve them at room temperature. They shouldn't even have a touch of a chill on them. But I want to talk about a few wines that do very well with a chill and a few wines that you never want to serve with a chill. So let's start off with the positive. What wines can take a bit of a decrease in temp for service? And I'm going to use an example of one that can really be playful, and it's a Pinot Noir. So we're drinking a Joseph Phelps Pinot Noir. This is called Quarter Moon Vineyard Pinot. It's from the Sonoma Coast. So although they're located in Napa, their winery, they are sourcing some Pinot from the Sonoma Coast area or the AVA over in Sonoma. So now, why am I going to serve this chilled? And another good way to think of it before I get into the why is the how, right? So, so essentially you take your bottle some people might actually be storing it at cellar temperature, so around that kind of 55 degree temperature point, that will be a great temperature to serve. But say you just have a bottle, uh, you just bought it, and it's at already room temperature, you can chill a bottle down quickly for about 10, 15 minutes just in the refrigerator. And then that will get it to the ideal temperature. Because you just want to serve this wine with a little chill, not cold, but just a little chilly. Okay, so that's kind of how you get a red at the right temperature. But why did I do that? Why do I want this wine served a little colder? Well, because when a wine has three main things, it does well with a chill. So number one, a thinner skinned grape. So Pinot is a thinner skinned grape, and that will lead to a little bit less color. So you can kind of see through this wine. It's more of a ruby. It's not really purple and dense. So that's kind of your first guideline, thinner skinned, Grapes with lighter colors and less concentration can typically do better with a chill. Next, wines that are very aromatic, bright, lively. So this one, it has a lot of these high-toned red fruits, spices, florals. So those tend to meld well with a bit of a chill as well. They actually accentuate and become even more sharp. Next, you want to work with a wine with low tannin and a little bit more acid. So lower tannin, higher acid wines, or just the more mouthwatering wines, do better with a chill. So let's just taste it and make sure it's okay. So the chill works well because it's the refreshing nature is just playing in with the chill, chilled nature of the wine. And then the tannins aren't becoming astringent or clunky or clawing, the, just that drying sensation in wine because there's not that much of them. So that's how this wine works with the chill. And I encourage it because it just becomes more refreshing, more lively, and it's just fun to give your maybe your guests or even yourself a, a more pleasurable experience with Pinot. Other grapes that fit the bill, you can play with Gamay or from the Beaujolais region of France. So Gamay is a, is a fun grape to serve with a little chill. And Grenache is a fun grape to serve with a little chill. And then um, some more playful, more isoteric grapes, Senso, can do really well with a chill. You might see that around as well. So don't be afraid to chill. That's why this is a great wine to do it with. And now on to maybe some more of the negative wines to never chill and wines to always, if you are storing them in about 55 degrees, bring up to temperature your big burly reds. So wines with thick skins, or grapes with thick skins that make really dark, deep wines. You typically don't want to chill those. Uh, high tannin, high tannin, really astringent tannins don't do well with the chill. And wines that are a little bit um, restrained in their aromatic quality, try not to chill those because then you'll just get even more muted on the nose. So examples, don't serve a Cabernet Sauvignon chilled. Tempranillo doesn't do well chilled. Syrah typically doesn't like to be super cold as well. So Merlot, um, just that, that category of wines don't like to be chilled. Okay, so now you know if you should chill or you shouldn't. 
and I hope to see you next time. Cheers. Oh, sorry, I took a sip and I was so distracted with this delicious chilled wine, I forgot to talk about, I can't sign off yet without talking about if wine could talk. So while you're chilling, while you're drinking your chilled wine, read my book at the same time. That's perfect. So it's called If Wine Could Talk. It is available on Amazon. Also, a lot of local bookstores have been awesome in supporting the book. So check out your local bookstore and ask if they have it too. Now we can, okay, and cheers again. I'll take another sip. Gotta do it. Bye.